Today I'm going to give you a few tips on hydration, especially in the heat. Right now we're in Florida and it's July and it's muggy and humid, hot, not fun to ride your bike. And people are becoming dehydrated, they're not feeling well, they're feeling faint. It's really an intense time of year to be riding your bike. So today I want to give you a few tips to help you manage your hydration and staying cool and really help you manage this time of the year in a, in a hot um, environment. So for one, if you really want to make sure you're not losing too much fluids, when you leave for your ride in your garage, you can put like a scale and you can jump on the scale uh, in your kit just before you leave. And then when you return from your ride, jump back on the scale and see how much weight you lost. Now, however much weight you've lost, you want to hydrate with one and a half times more than what you've lost. So for example, you get on the scale and you you know, you're a kilogram or two, two you know, plus pounds uh, lighter than when you started, then you'll want to hydrate with at least one and a half liters, so one and a half times that you've lost over the next hour to two hours. You want to hydrate. Now, not only water, you want to add some electrolytes. Remember, 90% of electrolytes is sodium. So you want to make sure you're getting enough electrolytes in as well. That's one way to stay on top of your hydration. Another thing you can do is before bed and also on waking in the morning, have a big glass of water and add a, add a pinch or a quarter of a teaspoon of a very healthy salt. Um, you know, they've got like Himalayan or sea salt and those kind of salts. You want to add just a little bit of salt, have that big glass of water when you wake up and also before bed. That's also going to help you maintain your electrolyte levels. The third thing is, don't just down waters. Remember, if you're just drinking water all the time throughout the day, you're also often running to the bathroom more and you're also losing electrolytes. So you want to add some electrolytes to maybe every second uh, or third glass of water, add a pinch of salt or some electrolyte pack and make sure you're staying hydrated. The other thing is ride early in the morning, try to avoid the midday sun and uh, maybe shorten your rides through the summer. Don't do any super long rides because those are super fatiguing at this time of year. So. Hope you guys enjoyed those tips. Stay cool this summer and all the best with your cycling.